Welcome to our fund manager and signal provider users to this short video designed to help you better understand our systems. Please understand that this video is for educational and training purposes only. Let us begin. Okay, we have our MAM and MAC account systems and how do they work? Well, let's start with the fund manager account. Our fund manager account is simply a reflection of the investor accounts that are plugged into it or connected to it. It is not possible to deposit real money into a manager account. The balance of the manager is the combined total of all the investors that are plugged into it. It's very important to understand this. If we have a fund manager account on its own with no investor accounts connected to it, well then the balance will be zero and this account essentially cannot be traded because there is no balance. If we now were to introduce three investor accounts, now it could have been four, five, ten, the amount doesn't matter, and each investor account on this example has a balance of $5,000 each. Now whilst none of them are connected, the balance of the manager still remains at zero. As soon as we connect the first account, the manager balance is now 5000 the second account connected, we go up to 10000 and when the third account is connected, the balance jumps up to 50000 Now, it's very important to realize here, the reality is there is not $30,000 in the system, there is only 15000 and the fund manager is purely a reflection of every account that is plugged into it. So what happens now when we have a trading profit or a loss in the, man in the manager account? Well, this will be reflected in proportion of equity across all the investor accounts. So as an example, let's say that the manager has a trading loss of say $90. Since all investors have equal shares of $5,000 each, they will each also have that entire $90 loss split between them, which will make it a $30 loss each. And you, as you can see, it will be reflected, the manager's balance has gone down by 90 and each investor has gone down by 30. Okay, let us have a look at how the fund investor account works. Essentially, it's an account designed to be plugged into a manager for your manager to trade on your behalf. The investor account cannot be traded individually, very, very important. And you cannot close or open any trades at any time. You can, however, disconnect from your manager whenever you want if you felt that the performance of the manager was not to your satisfaction. Now, often our money managers who are operating fund manager accounts are also IB partners of ours. Now, please note, if you um, are a partner, you will only collect the IB rewards from the manager account and not the investor account. Remember, the investor accounts are not tradable. All the volume of the investor account is reflected in the actual manager and we do pay you the IB rewards from the manager. So if we look at our example over here, there is $15,000 in the system, it's reflected in the manager. Remember, the manager doesn't have any real money, it's just a reflection of whatever's plugged into it, so there is only $15,000 in the system, not $30,000. So we pay IB rewards on the manager, which is equal to the balance of all the investors' accounts combined together. And if you were to log into your partner's room, your manager account will be listed with all the trading activity and the corresponding IB rewards. So you will not see the investor account in your partner's room, but you will see the manager, which is a reflection of all the investors that are plugged into it. Let's now take a look at a signal provider account. Well, a signal provider account is really like a normal trading account, which is a markets account. You must deposit real money into it before you can trade it, okay? This is the major difference between a provider and a fund manager. The fund manager, you don't need to have any of your own money in it. As long as your investors are plugged into it, you can trade it. But if you are going to be a signal provider, you must have 
your own real money deposited into it before you can actually trade it. The signal provider account, if you are an IB partner, you will receive the IB rewards from such accounts because it is holding real money. Let's look at the receiver account. The receiver account is simply like a normal markets account also, which you can trade both when it is copying signals and when it is not copying signals. You can actually close trades that are copied that you do not like and you can interfere whenever you like uh, with the signals that it's receiving from the provider. And of course you can also disconnect completely whenever you need to or want to. If you are an IB partner, you will receive IB rewards from your receiver accounts because they too are also holding real money and they are both tradable. In your partner's room, your signal provider and your receiver accounts will both be listed with any trading activity and its corresponding rewards. Let's have a look at the trading fees. Now, the first point I want to make is please do not confuse fees for being a trading manager to IB rewards that you receive from your client's trading volume. The IB rewards are stored in your partner's room and you can watch our partner room video to assist you with that. The fees for trading are collected in your trader's room in your original markets account that you opened or if you're an older client of ours it will be in a control account that we created for you. Uh, essentially it's the account that you use to log into the Phoenix platform with. There are two types of fees that you can charge your client. The first one is a performance fee and this one is very standard and it is based on the performance of either the manager account or the signal provider account. So and usually you may want to charge a performance fee of say 10% or 15% something like that. It is calculated monthly at the end of the month. So if your starting balance at the month was say 10,000 and at the end of the month it was 10,500, you've made $500 profit, then the performance fee will be charged on that profit. So if, the, uh, if it was a 20% performance fee, it'd be 20% of the $500, which is equal to $100, and that $100 will get automatically credited to your markets account for the newer clients or the control account for the older clients. The second type of fee is a volume fee. Now this is a fee that you can charge based on the trading volume that the signal provider or the fund manager does. And this is calculated at the end of each trade and credited to the markets account uh, or the control account for the older clients as you go along. Now it is different to the IB rewards. The IB rewards we store in the partner's room this fee is a fee that you charge your client for the service. Your client must agree to this fee and they will sign the documentation um, approving that. And if that is the case, essentially what happens is the fee comes out of their trading account and goes into your account as you go along. Okay, so I hope that this has clarified many things for you. If you do have any questions, please feel free to get in contact with us. and. Uh, Happy trading for all you managers out there. Bye for now.